More than 2 million Pennsylvanians are now fully vaccinated against the coronavirus. Progress, especially on the vaccine front, has been made since the pandemic first began. But there is still a lot to learn about the virus. And to that end, in a Pittsburgh lab, scientists are putting in hours researching the latest mutations of COVID-19. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Stacy Smith and I'm Kim Gable. It's research that could lead to a potential booster shot or an adjustment to the vaccine. Katie Kay's Megan Schiller joins us live in Oakland after talking to one scientist about these latest developments. Megan. These Pittsburgh scientists work to stay on the front line in the battle against the coronavirus. The latest developments inform their future research and it's all happening here in Oakland. It's a sea of new information every day, and these scientists make sense of it all. So there's about 20 faculty members and then all of their labs um, that are all giving their expertise to researching SARS-CoV-2. Kevin McCarthy and the team at the Center for Vaccine Research work in full suits, handling the live virus and the newest variants. Since a vaccine is basically introducing you to the pathogen before you're infected, we're now working on vaccines behind the scenes you know, to protect people against variants before they become widespread. I asked him, will we need a shot every year like the flu? I, I don't know, um, but I think it's good that we're thinking about it and we're working at it. And this is a rare glimpse that the public has as to how the scientific process, the regulatory process and industry are working at most of the time. As for the concept of a potential booster shot, McCarthy explained it like a tune up. You know, the virus has since changed since that sequence was reported in January of last year. And so what a booster would do is to show your body what the virus has done in, in the past year in terms of its evolution. And even though the virus can evolve, McCarthy insists the current vaccine will still protect from variants for this reason. Even though these variants are concerning, there's still only a few substitutions or mutations that have been made in them. And so most of the protein is the same as, as it was when it originated in Wuhan, China. Um, and so that allows our body to recognize most of it, just not all of the virus. And McCarthy says that is enough to protect most people from severe illness or even death. McCarthy also, also says that most scientists right now are putting their information and their research on a server instead of waiting for it to be published in a scientific journal so all scientists can see the latest research. He says that's a way of sharing information in hopes of working together to fight the virus. Reporting live in Oakland, Megan Schiller, KDK News.